Hello dancers, it's Miss Sarah. And today I wanted to share with you the puppet story for the ballet, La Fille Malgardie. Those are five, oh, La Fille Malgardie, four, four French words. La Fille Malgardie. It means the poorly guarded girl, but we usually call it the wayward daughter. I'm not sure why. In any event, the puppet story for the ballet, it tells the very short love story between Lise and Colas, and they live in a farm so long ago, long, long, long ago before we even had electric light bulbs in our homes. And I hope that you like it. It's got lots in it. And all that you need to do to enjoy the puppet story is to sit with a quiet body and you'll be able to hear and see everything. Here we go. Long ago, in France, on a farm, there was a boy named Colas. Colas loved a girl named Lise, and he would get up so early in the morning, he'd sit under her window until she came out and they'd share breakfast, and on this morning it was so early she hadn't come out, he fell asleep. So, his friends caught him, said, wake up, and ran off with him. And she came out and said, Colas? Lise noticed he wasn't there and knew that he had been. So she took a ribbon and she tied it around the gate. She knew that if she didn't get to see Colas before Auntie woke up, she'd have to start working and Auntie yelled, Lise! Lise was very smart. She was going to do the work, but she wanted to see Colas. So she hid under the window while Auntie looked all around. Auntie figured she was sleeping, so she shook her carpet out and got stuff all over Lise. But it's okay, because Lise can see Colas coming, and he found the ribbon. He said, did you leave this for me? She said, yes, and the two of them were so excited. They grabbed one end of the ribbon each, and they twirled and twirled until they were so close together they could hug. But once the farm is awake and the roosters could call, everything on the farm begins. And Auntie comes out and says, Colas, you have to go, we expect guests. And she pulls Lise aside while Thomas comes in with his son, Elaine. Elaine is kind of a strange boy. He's very frightened. He's especially frightened of the rain. He carries his umbrella with him everywhere. He says, hello. And they say, hello. He says, hi. He's just frightened and doesn't really know what to do. So Thomas says, let's go to the Mayfair. At the Mayfair, Lee sees Colos in his nice suit and really wants to dance with him. But to do that, Auntie will have to have something to do. So she says, Auntie, dance, please. Auntie puts these on and goes, could you hear that wood sound? That was her dance. Now, once Lise is gone, everybody starts dancing around a maypole. A maypole has a bunch of ribbons on it. And when everybody holds one part of the ribbon, the may they dance around it in circles and the maypole makes these beautiful patterns in the sky. Elaine, loving his umbrella, sees a cloud. He gets excited. He opens it as if he's going to pull it up. And when he does, the wind grabs him and he's carried away. Auntie chases after him. And finally, after all the running, they go home together to get ready for the wedding. The boys from the village come in and bring all of these bundles of wheat to the house for the party. And when they do, Auntie says, we're ready, I'm gonna go get the lawyer. And Lee stands there feeling sad. She says, I love Colas. I wish I could be with him. We could have gotten married, we'd have one baby, no two babies, no three, no four babies. And that's when something moves under the bundle of wheat and Colas jumps out. He's so proud of himself because he got himself into a log house and no one knew it. Lee said, did you hear what I said? He said, I didn't hear anything, I'm so happy we're together. And they dance for only a moment before Auntie comes home. Lee knows she has to put on her wedding dress and Colas shouldn't be in the house. So the two of them run away into different rooms and in walks Auntie with the lawyer who brings with him the papers. And Thomas signs the paper, Elaine signs the paper, and then of course Auntie signs the paper. The only person who's left is Lise. So Auntie says, Lise! And the two of them come downstairs together. The lawyer says, what is the point of the wedding you're setting up when these two clearly love each other? Andy said, do you two love each other? And Cola said, yes. May I please marry Lise? And Auntie said, I didn't know. Of course you can. And then all of them lived happily ever after. And the lovely music that you heard is by Ferdinand 
Harold. I'll say Ferdinand and you'll say Harold. Ready? Ferdinand, Harold. One more time. Ferdinand, Harold. Oh, dancers, I've just loved it, talking to you today. I hope you get to see the other videos. And if you ever want to pop into the ballet class, you'll be able to. You can see my information at the end of this video. And you can come and have a free trial and see if you like dancing. Have a wonderful day. And be sure to say thank you for something that makes you happy today. Goodbye.